Okay, anyone who knows me knows I'm a big Triumph fan. Um, I have a couple of Triumphs, still have a couple of Triumphs. Then again, I have as many Yamahas that have Triumph. I just love all motorbikes. I don't really have a particular favorite one over another, but if I was to be pushed, Triumph would be up there along with Ducati. Now, I took this out earlier. The Rally Pro, I think it's the GT Rally Pro. Well, this is a 900 Rally, Rally Pro. This, you see, this is the problem. This is the problem with Triumph. There's too many. No, that's a GT Pro. What the hell is this? A Tiger 900 GT. This is a 900 GT Pro. I, uh, how can they be the same? That's 900 Rally Pro. There's too many. You're the worse than KTM and BMW. You have GT, TEs, REs. I just can't make any sense of them. So you're just gonna have to go to a dealership, sit your ass on a few of them, and decide which one's right for you. The one I had my ass on earlier at the experience was this one. And I fucking loved it. I absolutely loved it. Here we are. Triumph Tiger 900 GT. GT Rally, Rally. And it looks lovely. Rally Pro. I don't know if you can hear me, but this is serious. This is so easy. I'm probably going to fall on my ass now. this guy. Do I overtake? Around the inside. As you can probably tell I love this bike. was absolutely awesome, wrong bike. I will talk more about this later on when I'm on the stand, but I am sweating. I could have stayed on that all day long. Just could not shift this bike. It was just spot on. I'm gibbering because that was class. I couldn't unstick it. I engaged the ABS in the front just the once. Now I took the Desert X last year. I couldn't get the thing to stay off. It was a pain in the ass. I caught it out once, and that was because I was going really kind of hard into a, a new corner, a new kind of really tight, and I went, oh, a little bit too hard, and I, I, I just, ah, shite. I love the, the GT900. We have the 1200s here. There was a test with KTM about the KTM, the Multistrada, the Tiger 1200, and uh, the BMW GS, and the Tiger 1200 won. Uh, so you guys have a look it up. I think it was Motorcycle News or Bike World or something like that. It may not have the wow factor of the Multistrada, but it's certainly better looking than the KTM and the GS. And you know what? Looking at it, it just looks purposeful. But we also have the sport versions. Let's go have a look at them because fucking people are coming up behind me and annoying me. Let's go look at them quickly. The Triumph Street Triple 765 RS 11, 295, about 130 horsepower. Motorcycle News Bike of the Year, and Naked Bike of the Year. So Naked Bike of the Year and overall Bike of the Year. And, do you know what, actually, no, no. Because we've had this argument before. All well and good having a naked bike. All well and good having an absolutely stormer, stonk of an engine, Moto 2 derived, whatever. What we want, what we want is fairing, fairing, fairing. That there, you've got one. You have a Moto 2 bike. Why can't you take the fairing on that, stick it on that? You used to do it before with the Daytona. I used to have a 675 Daytona race bike. I loved it. So that's the problem with this for me, is I love, a, I, I want a sport bike. I don't want a naked bike. The other thing about it, well, I mean, MCN has already said it. It's bike of the year, naked bike of the year. It's 130 horsepower. The way you shag all, it's a triumph. We have the 1200 RS over there as well. I think that's around 15 grand. You have the RR over there, which is about 17 grand, 17 and a half, something like that. That hasn't got the greatest reviews. Uh, MCN, I don't think he liked it that much. The Rocket 3. Sure, shit, that's a madness, absolutely glorious bike. I don't know, are they make 25 grand? Hold on, just stay there, stay there. 23,595. 
Shall I go over and have a look at the other? The Trident 660. Shall I go over and get, hold on, hold on a second there now. Yeah, can you hear me now? 7895, 80 horsepower. Can you hear me? Can you still hear me? We've got a radio mic on. 7895, and about 80 horsepower. Ah, I'm talking so much shite. You know it's getting late in the day, I have about 25 minutes to wrap this up. We'll chat today, Dron. I'm a big fan of Triumphs. There's just too many of them anymore. Buy a bobber on one of these and stick a fairing on it. And a Tiger 900. Bye-bye.